Hello, welcome to the month of November. I'm a super judge and I'm so grateful to God for the opportunity to bring forth his word to you today. Now, this is the first day of the month of November. And right now we are having our 24 hours um, prayer and fasting and praying according to the watches. So if you haven't joined yet, the, the Zoom ID and, and passcode is on your screen. You can quickly join for the next uh, prayer meeting because we pray according to the watches. So find the next watch, which we follow the West African time. See, follow the West, West African time. So find the next watch and join the meeting. Praise God. God is, is, is teaching us a lot, empowering us a lot. We pray at every watch and, and strengthen ourselves in God and get really ready for the new months. So God has amazing things that he has laid in our hearts concerning this month of November. Now I told you before, the reason God brings forth a word for the month is to set our minds on the things to meditate on and trust the spirit of God for. Praise God. Now before we go into all that, now there's so much excitement in my heart, but then we have to make demand for our daily bread first. Praise God. Are you ready to do that right now? You know, during the prayer meeting, there's, we, like I said, we pray at every watch. There's a specific, uh, specific uh, watch we take to deal with separate issues. So we have prayer, we have watch that we deal with finances. We have watch that we deal with family. We have watch that we deal with all kinds of things that we deal with at every watch. So you don't want to miss it. So we touch every important thing. You understand what I'm talking about? Praise God. So are you ready now to make demand for your daily bread? Now, this is the first day. I don't know what is in your heart, but I believe God for great things. Praise God. Are you ready right now? Say with me, with all the faith that you can muster in your heart. Now that doesn't mean you oh, no. It's just simply to say, Lord, I trust you. That's, that's enough faith. Praise God. I trust you. Trust him for what? He will do what his character has portrayed him to be. See? He will do just that. Is God a provider? Yes, he is. Many testimonies show that that's his character. So based on that, you are going to place a demand on him. Coupled with the fact that Jesus said we should ask. Give us this day our daily bread. Are you ready now? Now you understand why we do this. So join me right now and say, Father, on this first day of the month of November, I make a demand for my daily bread. And I trust you, Lord. You are bringing all to me. Throughout this month, I will never lack anything. In Jesus' name, I receive it right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just go ahead and give God praise in a few seconds. Just say, Lord, I give you praise. Yes, because I believe in you and you surely are doing these things in my life. There is one thing I know. I will never lack. <laughs> God. Yeah, when we say these things, like people are just talking. No, it's the truth. I will never lack. Why do I say so? Because I have a God who has promised that he will never leave me. He will never forsake me. So what, what happened? Do you, do, you, first, do you face times like it looks like um, you need something? Yes, we do. We do. But you see, that's the beginning of the matter. That's not where the story ends. The challenge is when you don't know what to do. But when you know what to do, you will be at rest. You will just like, Lord, what do you want me to do? I told you that thing before. Turn to the Lord in all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Last month, we talked extensively about why it's important to always pray. And can I tell you what the Lord is saying concerning this month? The Lord said to me, he said, in the month of November, you are going to receive and walk in boldness. Praise God. Yes. This is a month of boldness. 
thought of it, it's just staring my heart. Praise God. The month of boldness. Boldness. Boldness of faith. Boldness to believe God. Boldness to take actions to demonstrate your faith. Boldness to see results that are commensurate with your faith and the character of God. Boldness to stand with God and see things true. You are not going to cower this month. You are not going to fail. You are not going to faint. This month. Now, now I understand the Lord has been building us up in a place of prayer. Now he's saying, hey, it's time to manifest boldness. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I don't know what you're thinking. With everything that's happening in the world, with everything that's happening in our nation especially, things are going out of proportion. Cost of living is so, un, I mean, just unexplainably high. See, hey, that doesn't mean your life should go down. See, I already, they, they, see, God has said a lot of things. This is, this is a time more than ever before you should stand in faith and believe God like you've never done before. I'm not saying do it out of desperation. I'm saying remember the old book. Have you been in that situation before where you have no money at all? You see, you have no money at all. And then you now go to your wardrobe and start bringing out all your clothes, your jackets, and you're putting hands in the pockets just to see whether adventure at some point I may have left some change you know in, in, in this jacket pocket or in this trouser or in this jeans pocket you know what I'm talking about how many of you have been in that situation now how many of you have found something unexpectedly you just whoa you mean I, I have this money I mean this money can take me to where I need to go to right now I have seen that happen many times praise God now, now sometimes I don't even know if I left that money there or some angel just stuck that money there knowing that I was going to come I can't tell in all truth I, I can't tell praise God but I, I've seen those things happen where where you know you just like look I can't just be completely out of money like that let me check myself and then you begin to check and like, oh wow enough money to to do what you need to do you know what i mean like change you know? maybe to go to the next place you need to go to that would avail you the opportunity of getting more money or you just solve the immediate problem praise god yes now when things get tough now here's where i'm going when things get tough it's not for you to cry it's not for you to give up it's for you to remember the things that you have been despised Yes. So one of the things you may just have been despising is the word of God. I read it every day. You see, you can read your Bible every day, yet despise the word of God. I've told you these things before. Reading your Bible doesn't mean you are receiving the word of God. You can just be reading as an academic material or a religious book. But that's different from receiving the word of God. Now, the Bible affords you an opportunity to put you in an atmosphere to receive the word, see? But then you must make sure the whole purpose is the word. If you don't receive the word, no matter all the gymnastics or activities you do, everything amounts to zero. The whole purpose of activities in church, the whole purpose of, of praying, fasting, studying the Bible, all that is just so you will receive the word of God. Because I've told you this before, the only evidence that we have of God being alive is his word. And, and when I say his word, I'm not talking about this book. I'm saying his ability to speak. That's the only evidence we have that God is alive. Is his ability to speak. And when he speaks, everything becomes calm. You know why? Because everything will listen to him. Everything will hear him. When God speaks, nature will hear him. Oh, you, you, don't, you don't understand this. Now let me show you a scripture. Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. The Lord says it's, it's a season. It's a month of boldness. 
Acts chapter 4. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, the disciples of Jesus were in a situation and, and they had warned them. Please understand this. Jesus had commanded them to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Okay. And now they faced a situation where the high priest, the authority of the land, held them and let me read from verse 16 okay from verse 15 verse 15 but when acts chapter 4 from verse 15 but when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council they conferred among themselves saying what shall we do to these men for that indeed a notable miracle had been done by them is manifest to all all them that dwell in jerusalem and we cannot deny it but that it spread no further you see that's what satan is always after when God does a thing, he couldn't stop it. Guess what he goes after? So that it doesn't spread. Let's contain this thing. It says, but that it spread no further among the people. Let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. What name? The name of Jesus. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. Now that's in violation to what Jesus told them to do, okay? Now, but these are the authority of the day. I will show you something. Now. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, you judge. And then he said, for we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Now they were holding on to their testimony please understand the authority say don't speak again in that name they didn't say no we will speak in that name they say well um you guys who have to judge whether it's right for us to obey you or obey god but you see there's a problem the things we have seen and heard how do we keep quiet about it see sometimes when you have arguments like this you have to be very careful we'll talk about that another time Thank you, Lord Jesus. For we cannot but speak, verse 20 now, the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for that which was done. This is why we must have good works to show for the things we do. Praise God. Now, verse 23. Let's just say, uh, verse 23. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and the elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and they began to pray. They didn't hear that and say, hmm, so what do we do now? Eh? Let's write a petition. Oh, no, let's let's do placards and go and protest. Why would they attack our freedom of speech? They are attacking our freedom of speech. We have our fundamental. They didn't say that. They didn't do all that. Like look, most people want us to do today. Oh, right to the National Assembly. Right to, now, those things have their place. But you see, if you don't get reignited or assured of the power that is backing you, then no matter all the physical things you do, it will amount to zero. Yeah. Some people with all their knowledge can come and tell you all kinds of things, but I'm telling you the truth. Stick with the Lord. They went back to the Lord who commanded them to preach. Because now you need something to obey. I always tell people, real Christians are not disobedient people. They are obedient people. But it matters who they are obeying. You understand what I'm talking about? So if, if an authority comes to me and say, you must not do this again. When we were in school, we had such situations, you know, school in the north. And we had such situations where the school authority would go, nobody must use any hall, any theater for any religious activity. And then we used to hold our, our services in, you know, on campus in faculty halls, faculty theaters. 
So now when those circulars, from the VC, you know, like you see circulars, because they knew where we were holding our meetings. And then now we had to deal with these whole religious issues where the, most of the authority issuing out these orders are Muslims. And then they are telling us Christians. Now it's easy to get emotional in things like that and, and go, eh, because they are Muslims. And then now, now you see, I, I, I thank God for the kind of wisdom, even though we were very young, he gave us wisdom to think right. See, now I remember those days we tried to engage with the school and say, hey, we, we, we don't destroy things. We just peaceful Sunday morning. No lecture is on at that time. Can we just please, you know, have our meeting, have our fellowship. If you want to tell us, oh, don't do it like this. No. But they were not willing to listen. And now, what do you do? The authority says this. And we are conscious that the Bible says it's subject to every authority. We knew that. So what did we do? We went back to the Lord. And we began to pray. I said, Lord, what do we do in this situation? And the Lord gave us command. Go. I'll give you the place to use. <laughs> I remember I remember one, one, one incident. We're having this prayer meeting now. Very amazing. We're having this prayer meeting. And and, and a dear sister, young, just spoke. I say, God said, the Lord, I have given Pastor Atubo the keys to all the theaters on this campus. Now we literally be, we, we believe in men. You know how in men. Now we, we, you know, Jesus said, I will give the keys to the kingdom. So that's what we're thinking. But we got to find out truly, physically, I had the keys. <laughs> For some reason, now not that I went to get them. As, even as at the time that prophecy was given, we got to find out months later, I had keys that would open three of the major theaters in the school. The keys were on my bunch of keys. And I was, that's, oh, and I brought, anyway, anyway. Now, because the Lord spoke to us, and we obeyed the Lord. Guess what? He protected us from the authorities until we left. He did protect us from the authority. Now, there are times we had great confrontations. And then you would think, oh, well, oh, hey, they are going to expel us today. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But somehow, the matter dies without us doing anything. That's how God protected us. Oh, I can tell you stories. But you see, we were not disobedient people. Now, someone will look at us and people are just disobedient. No! We were obedient, but you just didn't know who we were obeying. But see, here was our confidence. The one we obey protects us. Now, let's look at what we're, we're, we're reading there. Now, verse, let's jump to verse, I told you they began to pray. Now, let's jump to verse 29. They were still praying and they say, And now, Lord, Behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. How? By stretching forth thy hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child, Jesus. Glory to God. Now, now when the Lord says, you're, you've entered a month of boldness. Now, here's what the Lord is saying to us. Now, remember, there was an opposition to their faith. Now, you may not be facing this kind of practical opposition to your faith. It might be finances. It might be whatever, health. The doctor might be telling you, oh, you don't have a long time to leave. So you've got to obey this and this and that. And then you begin to go, hmm. you know how this thing works out? But, but God can heal me now. Eh? But so and so person died. So, so pastor died. I better, I better, I better play safe. I better play safe. Now that's what these guys should have been thinking. They, they could have been thinking, let's play safe. Let's not even do anything public again. Let's go on the ground. They could have, but because they prayed to God and they asked the Lord, they didn't say, Lord, 
Now, they, because they have said so, help us even as we begin to preach on the ground, help us to find the right people that need to be saved. No, they say, Lord, we are ready to preach, but we need something from you. What do you need from me? Give us boldness. And how do we want the boldness? When we stretch our hands to heal, you stretch your hands to heal. When we, we declare something, you cause that signs and wonder. So when the Lord says a month of boldness, guess what he's also said? It's a season of signs and wonders. Praise God. See, that's why I'm telling you, join the next prayer meeting. Praise God. Join, just join the next prayer meeting because my time is up. It's going to be an exciting model. Just that today is Friday, so we have to wait till next. But join the prayer meeting that's going on. Join the next watch and just be blessed. Praise God. I pray for you that the month of November. The Spirit of God is going to stir up your heart to righteousness more than ever before. I, I pray for you that the Spirit of boldness will rest upon you. You will face every challenge with faith and boldness. And as you stand on God's word, you will see signs, you will see miracles done through your hands. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, you will speak a thing and you will see it established unto you. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, this month you will understand the power that resides in your words. And you will be bold to speak and you will bring succor to yourself, to your family, to your environs in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Woo, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Join the next prayer meeting. I want to see you there. God bless you. Have the best weekend ever. Have the best month ever. I'll see you on Monday or I'll see you in the prayer meeting. Praise God. Bye.